Hey guys, back again with another video. I'm uh, out today, well, this evening, trying to find and uh, make a campsite for this weekend. I'm going uh, hiking this weekend and uh, decided today I was going to make a campsite. And it's going to be a permanent campsite because I'm going to make it out of a tarp, and well, a big tarp. And uh, I thought I'd spend today setting it up and uh, I thought I thought I'd include you. So. Let's see if we can find a campsite and uh, try and make a small camp. I'm starting by using this uh, tractor road. It's not very much used, but uh, anyways. Why I'm going this way is because the stream, you can see right ahead there, is uh, good, clean drinking water. Uh, it's perfectly safe, you don't have to boil it, you can drink it right out of the stream. And, uh, well, sorry for a bit of a noise. Oh. And um, I thought I'd set up my campsite somewhere not too far from it, because then I can uh, have a reliable source of water. Oh, actually, a small place inside here that could be good. But uh, I don't want it too close to the road either, because there are people who use it so uh, I'm just gonna walk a bit around and I'll show you when I find a site uh, it's good alright I uh, found a nice little place here it's uh, fairly level it's got good ground and uh, it's a small wouldn't call it a hillside, but anyways, I'll uh, use this as a campsite because the stream or water source is about a quarter mile away. I can easily go get water, um, and uh, I'm gonna take off some of the branches of this spruce. I'm gonna use that as thatching on the back and front, and. Uh, I'll uh, set up a nice little shelter here. I didn't bring my tripod with me, I left that in the car because it was raining when I started walking and I didn't want to lug that in the rain. But uh, I'll sort something up and uh, see if we can build a small shelter here. Well, trying to get the camera to stand still there for a while. I'm uh, using spruce. As the base on my uh, on my shelter, and uh, this is a nice young little spruce, and uh, I want it about nine, nine, ten feet, and uh, using my homemade machete type of knife because that's a lot easier to handle than the axe on this. And uh, so this is the first part, and when I got it about the length that I want, something like nine, ten feet, I'll just use a simple little like that and I'll be making uh, four of these because it's going to be sort of a tent type I'm making cross members and uh, then using a big tarp on the sides so uh, I've got a bit of work to do but it's all in the fun isn't it Three more of those and we're good to go. Well, there's your basic frame. It has, well, you can see I've uh, put, I'm not done with the framework yet. I still have to tie it down and make sure it's secure, but it's a lot of work trying to stabilize it. One man. And uh, I used a, uh, support on the back side there because otherwise it just would be impossible so I'm gonna have to um, tie it together there and uh, over there and uh, put my tarp over and then do some final adjustments 
and uh, I'll have a campsite. I chose a bit of uneven ground, but that's a reason for that because I'm going to use that slightly elevated place as my sleeping spot. I'm only going to use it for uh, sleeping and keeping things dry, but the fireplace is going to be outside and I'm going to be spending most of the weekend outside anyways. Another fun part is there's a lot of wildlife around here. I could hear them. The birds are everywhere. And I just had a pretty close call with a moose. I'm standing right there and I hear some sounds behind me and I wonder why. I wonder what that is. It's kind of loud and right through those two trees there's a moose. So that's, I don't know. 20 yards. I was standing there and took off when I turned around, but there are some quite fresh droppings around here as well within the last couple of days. And uh, so, yeah, this is going to be fun. A lot of wildlife around, but uh, time to get this thing sorted out and put my tarp over it. It's starting to lose daylight now. Well, alright then. It's stable. I've uh, pegged it down on one side and I've uh, tied it down on the other. And uh, it's actually high enough for me to stand in here. I'm not sure what the lighting is, but let's see. I'm standing full height and uh, decent place to sleep. Nice little place to store things. I just have to tidy up a bit. And uh, now I have to make uh, the back wall. That's just going to be sticks attached with spruce branches. I have a ton of them from splitting. So uh, got to get to that. And uh, I've got about, I don't know. 45 minutes left of daylight. <laughs> Better get this done because I didn't bring a torch with me. So see you shortly. And there's the back wall. Thatched enough. Some holes, but if they're too big I can thatch them more tomorrow when I get here. For now I'm just going to call it a quits because I'm losing daylight faster than I need to get back to the car. And uh, so this is where I'm going to be spending my weekend. Uh, I uh, can see I can. That's about how I'm 175 centimeters tall, and that's how high I ended up building this shelter. I will be going here after work tomorrow, and I'm going to spend the weekend here in the woods. Just video taping, watching wildlife, seeing what's around, maybe looking for some hunting territory, and just enjoying the weekend in nature. Uh, there's going to be a fire pit, I'm going to do some cooking, maybe do a video on that, I don't know. Haven't really decided. I wanted to um, suggest a couple of channels that you check out. The first is uh, the Wild North. I'll put a link to uh, both uh, channels in my uh, subscription. No, sorry, in the um, description field. Uh, the Wild North. Andrew up in Canada, trapping, hunting, and uh, Whitetail Bushcraft. Nick and his son Sean. Uh, excellent channels, both of them. Um, I really suggest you check them out if you haven't already. And uh, I'll uh, see you in my next video. Enjoy weekend and uh, peace to everyone. Bye.